Department of Registration and Stamps, Maharashtra deals with the document registration and stamp duty collection. In the financial year 2021-22, Department had registered more than 25 lakh documents and collected revenue of Rs 35,000 crores. The department always uses modern technology to provide efficient and transparent services to the citizen. One of the novel initiatives is e-registration, which is online registration anytime, anywhere without going physically to sub-registrar office. Till 2001, the registration process was completely manual lot of human interference and huge back office work amounting to discretion. No time frame for registration and for receiving back the documents. In 2002, department introduced computerized registration system called Sarita. In Sarita, the processes were automated. Documents are scanned immediately after registration and returned to the citizen. In 2012, Department, with the assistance of NIC Pune, introduced iSarita, which was an integrated approach to do registration. It included integration of online facilities like data entry, slot booking, search, valuation, payment of duties and mutation, which benefited both the citizens and the Department. It led to faster and transparent registration process. Though I Sarita succeeded in curtailing the time required in some registrar offices for the registration, the registrants have to spend time for document preparation, printing and copying, payments of duties and fees, appointment of SRO with the convenience of other party and travel to sub-registrar offices. The solution is e-registration. Centralized registration created a perfect platform. E-registration is a mode of registration in which a citizen can uh, complete all the activities of uh, registration electronically without visiting to sub-registrar office. When discussing about the e-registration, the biggest challenge before us was uh, the legal requirement in Registration Act to appear before the sub-registrar. To overcome this uh, issue, the Registration Act has been amended in 2013. The Section 34 and 35 have been amended waiving of the physical appearance in case of registration through electronic modes. The Section 69, which is a rule-making power, has also been amended empowering the IGR to prescribe the rules of e-registration. Using these powers, IGR has framed the e-registration rules 2013 and uh, we have initiated the e-registration. The e-registration facility is made available for agreement of leave and licenses as well as for agreement to sale of flats between builder and flat purchaser. The only requirements are biometric device and web camera. Our citizen can take help of authorized service providers who can give service as per citizen convenience. User login to the e-registration application, enters the data like party details, property details. The document is generated in electronic form using the template. Parties execute the document with the help of biometric. Admission and identity verification process is done by using Aadhaar Verification (EKYC) service. After this, document is submitted online for registration. The sub-registrar logs into the system and selects the token. He verifies the document, photo, stamp duty and fee payments. He assures that the identity of the parties have been verified by UID. If found OK, he endorses the document as registered or can query the document. The e-registration document looks like this. Party can check status from the website and can download the copy of document and index 2. 
Registration and Stamp Department of Government of Maharashtra launched e-registration way back in 2013-14. We started it with registration of leave and license agreements and it picked up really nicely over the last few years. But e-registration of agreement to sale of first sale of flats didn't pick up over the years because of inherent problems that it was a hard-coded system. Every time a new builder came for registering his project for e-registration, we had to hard-code the document into our software system and it took our software engineers to code it every time whenever new project came. To tackle this problem, we came up with this solution that is self-help portal through form and template builder. During COVID times, to facilitate more and more developers to come forward for e-registration, we came up with self-help portal for e-registration of agreement to sale of first sale of flats of RERA registered developers. This self-help portal is available in department's website. Maharira registered builder interested in availing e-registration facility can log in the portal. He can submit the project and scheme details. He can create his own templates for multiple schemes. He can decide the fields required for his template and map it accordingly in the template. In this process, the data entry form is being customized for every scheme. Here, he can do test data entry and assure himself that the proper document is being generated. Once satisfied, he can freeze his template and form into the application. JDR, the Joint District Registrar, approves the scheme, the scheme details, valuation and uploaded annexure, etc. This is a one-time activity. After JDR's approval, the builder can proceed for e-registration of agreement to sale. The e-registration system will bring lot of benefits to all the stakeholders, very importantly for the citizen. It will bring the transparent and efficient system. They can register their document from the builder's office. They can register it at any time by saving the time and cost. We are extremely happy to be a part of the e-registration process which was initiated by the IGR department in Maharashtra. We are also very proud to be the first ones to have started using it. The next important beneficiary is the society itself because the paceless registration is a next part for the digital transformation in the e-registration ecosystem itself because it is a re easily replicable and scalable at all level. So with the help of this, it will bring the saving in the time, cost, the pollution and the footfall in the department's sub register offices. To take it forward, this e-registration system will definitely bring the next technological transformation and it will not only cover up the agreement to sale and leave and licenses, but within the next five years, I am very much sure with the help of this technology, we can bring the registration departments on online platform, I have no doubt about it. Rollout plan. After implementation of any system, the capacity building plays a major role. Proper and effective system training can help the expedite the implementation of the system. It also helps beneficiaries to get maximum output from the system. Department has already taken necessary steps to conduct the training sessions for interested builders and developers and design training material for each stakeholder. At district level, we have system support engineer to resolve the builders or developers daily issues. The ESRO sale has been set up at IGR office, Pune, for quick and hassle-free processing of the received documents. Now registration are done within 24 hours. Department is closely working with well-known organizations like Credai, Nardeco, etc. in the real estate area to onboard maximum number of RERA registered builders and developers to give seamless experience to the registrants.
a well equipped support center specifically for e registration has been made available to resolve all types of document registration related queries throughout the week we urge all the developers and builders to get connected with igr and onboard yourself on e registration platform to give once in lifetime registration experience to their customers i have a real estate company in dubai and i have sold properties in uh, pune hillside project itself i myself myself bought the pro- property here uh, the experience for, by e registration team in godrej is extremely good it took me 15 minutes to complete my registration process i think this has never happened before in the history of real estate uh, this gives a lot of confidence for international buyers to invest in godrej uh, because the registration process is not at all hectic like before with the launch of e registration registration anytime anywhere through self help portal i think we have entered a new era of registrations in india this is going to pave way for online registration in any state any place anywhere on call for the benefit of the citizens citizens no longer will be required to come to our offices for registering their documents now the technology is available the digital document execution followed by e registration and then safe storage of your documents through blockchain like technologies is going to make life of the citizens much easier it is just the matter of time that we decide to start using this facility for other types of documents whenever we as a machinery will be ready with safeguards for the citizens who are doing this transactions and coming for registration the technology is there the future is already here with the use of technology for providing better services for the citizens at their doorstep we just did the e registration completed all the formalities uh, i am i'm really happy it was very quick very convenient and uh, Bharat was really really uh, you know cooperative and he was very quick and very prompt i know he has traveled whole night and come all the way from pune to bangalore but it was really wonderful uh, i really enjoyed this whole process and i think you know this is going to be a you know good experience for all of the buyers who probably want to or who can't travel for doing the registrations in the government offices but there's a lot of queue and we need to wait there and we need to waste a lot of our time So it's better I think uh, I think I really enjoyed it